Welcome to our today's update from East Africa, first from Kenya. Indomie on feet for consumption, says Kofek. Rwanda bans a Kenyan Indomie. Now stay tuned for the update after the break. The Consumer Federation of Kenya, COFEC, has cautioned Kenyan consumers that Indomie contains chemical that could be harmful to human health. We advise consumers to restrain either consuming or purchasing any imported Indomie until necessary verification is conducted by Kenyan Bureau of Standard and other relevant agencies, the Federation said in a statement on Wednesday. It further warned that uh, the imported, imported toxic uh, Indomie on the shelves could be containing aflactosin. Aflactosin toxicity may result in nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, convulsion, and uh, other signs of uh, acute uh, liver injury. We urge the responsible supermarkets and the other retailers of uh, Indomie to voluntarily get the product out of uh, shelves for a couple of weeks as tests are conducted. Now in Rwanda, Rwanda has banned importation of a Kenya-made chicken flavor Indomie brand of a Nodu amid of a health concern over the safety. Rwanda Food and the Drug Authority has started an inspection into the food brand even as it has directed the importers of the product to stop distributing in it in the country. This comes at the time when the Kenyan Bureau of Standard Cares is yet to issue a statement on the safety of an Indomie, which has been called the court. Keb said last week it was investigating the safety of the product after some were withdrawn from the supermarket shelves in the Egyptian market a fortnight. While the inspection con continues, all distributors and the retailers in the possession of the above mentioned products are requested to stop a distribution and uh, quarantine all quantities in the stores until the investigation is concluded. Last Sunday, Egyptian authorities said last uh, month that 733,340 cartons of uh, different Indomie product uh, flavored have been withdrawn from the market after they were found to contain aflactosin and the pestic pesticide residuals that exceed the safe limit allow for human consumption. Kerb's managing director, Njiriaini, said last week that the samples of the nodal product by Indomie sold in Kenya market would be tested for safety before a decision is taken on them. Thank you for watching this video. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. On African Unity Themes, subscribe to our channel. Please hit on the like button. Share to your friends. And also drop a like and comment on the comment section.